Hi everyone, the goal of this lab is going to reach the vulnerable code in the TM Recover Resource Manager X function. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to see how we can enter this function, which is basically how to recover without even trying to win any race, to trigger any crash, just reaching this recovery state. Once we have reached this function, the second goal is going to be to reach the vulnerable path in the function. So we're gonna to need to have specific states for both the enlistment and the transaction. And the last thing we wanna have is to be able to track what happens from username. Okay, let's get started. So the username function we're interested in is Recover Resource Manager, and it allows for reaching the TM Recover Resource Manager X function, that is the vulnerable function, through the NT Recover Resource Manager syscall. So once we have reached the vulnerable function, we want to get the B send notification flag set. So one of the options that we didn't show previously to simplify is to have a superior enlistment and a transaction in a specific state. And originally we tried tried to do it with a superior enlistment for no particular reasons and it ended up causing lots of problems. For instance, it would require logs to be written on disk and then logs would be full quite quickly and we were not able to do it this way. So we went this other route, which is basically to have a regular enlistment, which is not superior and get the transaction into a prepared state. And we chose the prepared state because we didn't know what an in doubt state was and it sounded more complicated. And also because we encountered the prepared state already and the committed state is just later on in the process. And so the prepared state seemed easier to reach. So basically then the question is, how do we get a transaction in the K transaction prepared state? We have kind of touched this a little bit in the KTM experiments lab previously, but we'll look at it more deeply now. Basically there, there is this function called TMP process notification response that you'll encounter many times if you reverse engineer the KTM driver. And so anytime state transition stuff happens, this function would get called. The main thing is that there is a, a callback passed as well as, as two arrays that dictates the states that the enlistment or transaction might be in. And then what happens possibly is that the callback is called. And so we know that calling pre-prepare complete or prepare complete or commit complete from userland will change the state of the k enlistment. So it can be assumed that that will also transition the state of the underneath transaction as well. And we confirm that in the WinBag debugger during a previous lab. And so if you look at the implementation in kernel of such call like tm prepare complete that gets called on the kernel side when calling prepare complete in New Zealand, what you see is some of the arguments get set up in a specific way to call this TMP process notification response, which is basically the function we've just mentioned. And in this case, the callback is TMP TX action do prepare complete, where TX stands for transaction. And it is basically saying if all of the enlistment states are in the preparing state, it will flip them all to the prepared state afterwards. So this is the state beforehand, and this is the state after. And what ends up happening is this callback is called, which at first, when you read this code, it might not be obvious, but after a bit of reversing and debugging, you understand this is what is happening. And this is just to show the list of functions being called from the prepare complete API in New Zealand, which calls into the NT prepare complete syscall that then ends up calling the TM prepare complete function we just talked about. This slide is to show the actual callback function that ends up being called when all the enlistments are in the preparing state, meaning that they can transition to the prepared state. And we see in the cut snippet that the transaction also transitions to the prepared state. We know what the flags are from the public enum. And so since we reversed a bunch of KTM functions and we have updated all of the structures, we can find references to flags and stuff like this. And when we realize that we need to find some code that sets certain flags, it's easy to find. So this is just an example of the payoff 
of reversing a whole ton of code that you might not realize from the get-go is going to be useful. But because you have no other options, just annotating stuff is always good for the future. And so basically from UserLearn in general, we are trying to trigger this straight state transition. And so as mentioned previously, a bunch of the public states associated with both the enlistments and transactions exist. And there is a match between the K enlistment states and the K transaction state. Since all of the enlistments associated with the transaction reach a certain state, and they all have that similar state, it allows the transaction to move to the next state as well. So we know that we want to trigger a recovery of resource manager with a transaction in the prepared state. And so in order to do that, we have a vague idea of how to proceed. We start by creating a transaction. We create two enlistments associated with that transaction, just so that if we do hit the recovery code, we can watch it step through the linked list of more than just one enlistment. Then we call the function as usual about committing to do the transaction. We transition both of the enlistments to being pre-prepared. So the transaction is also changed to being pre-prepared. Then we transition both of the enlistments to being prepared. So the transaction is also changed to being prepared. And that should be enough to trigger the path we are interested in, in the TM Recover Resource Manager. In New Zealand, we saw code in the Visual Studio lab that will output the state transition. We can basically read the notification from userland that correlate to the code in the kernel in the recovery loop that we looked at earlier related to the BSEN notification flag. So when that loop processes one enlistment and sends a notification, we can read out the notification afterwards in Netherland and see that the vulnerable function hits the path we are interested in. And this will look like this output that we can see from userland and we previously saw that in the labs. So in this lab, the goal is to confirm we can trigger the vulnerable code that sends a notification for the prepared state. And so here we don't want to commit the enlistments as we want them to still be in the prepared state. And then we want to add a call to recover resource manager in New Zealand. And so when the kernel code hits the TM recover resource manager X vulnerable function, the state of the enlistments being in the prepared state will make it set the B send notification flag. And so the notifications should be sent to userland. And so to monitor that in the debugger, we'll have to set a breakpoint on the vulnerable function TM recover resource manager X, as well as the function named TMP set notification resource manager that is called by the first one when a notification is sent. And so even though the main goal is to reach the vulnerable path in this function, it's good to keep in mind future goals because while you're stepping and understanding the code better, it's easier to solve future problems. So one of the things we're gonna need is to be able to finalize an enlistment while it's in the loop and trying to recovering the resource manager, just because at some point we're gonna have to free one enlistment. So a stale pointer is used and we trigger used after free. And the second thing we're going to need to solve is how do we replace the memory that was previously a K enlistment to be replaced with control data so we can abuse the use after free. So in Visual Studio, you can open the triggervulncode.c and you'll see quickly that it's very similar to the previous lab, commit multi enlistment TX. So you have the similar helper functions and the instructions of the lab is to add a call to prepare complete for both enlistments and to add a call to recover resource manager and to break on these two functions. So in Ghidra, we're gonna work from now on with the latest tmvuln.sys just because we are gonna use all the annotations that we provide so you can focus on the actual exploitation of the vulnerability. You can also load the NTOS kernel that exe corresponding to the latest version. And you'll notice lots of bookmarks in the actual file that so you can easily access the functions for the future labs. For instance, we are interested at the moment of the TM recovery resource manager X function, and you'll see that it's all annotated and you'll see the B send notification flag. So we see the, that it, if the enlistment is not finalized, it's going to go into that if condition. And if certain flags are set for the transaction, like if it's in a prepared state, it's going to actually set the flag 
And then if this flag is set, it's going to go into this if loop and it's going to call the TMP set notification resource manager function we want to reach. So really the goal is to modify the code to actually first hit this function, but also make sure you enter in the if condition and that the flag B set notification is actually set to true and then that you hit this function call. Okay, now it's your turn.